The objective for to know tonight's are identify and evaluate functions. Welcome back to another great day of notes. We're working on page 33, functions part two. Okay. So our goal to, for today, our objective is to identify and evaluate functions. talking about what a function actually is today. We're going to be talking about how functions relate to transformations. We're going to be talking about something called a mapping. So today's date is 1026. Let's date our notes. Perhaps we're taking them out for ice cream. Who knows? Okay. Page 33, I think. Oops, page 33. Okay, so what is a function? A function a function takes one domain value to one and only one range value. So one of the ways that we can represent a function is by looking at um, what's called a mapping. So if I have a set of numbers in my domain, let's say I have 1, 2, 5, and 8, and a set of numbers in my range, maybe 1, 6, 8, Okay. Every domain value will go to one of my range values and only one of my range values. So maybe one goes to 10, two goes to six, five goes to one, and eight goes to eight. Say, so call this function f. So this means that f of 1 is 10, f of 2 is 6, f of 5 is 1, and f of 8 is 8. And this is my rule for the function. This makes a function. Okay. Another example of a function, let's say function g. might look like this. So here's my domain value. These remember are my x's and my range value. These remember are my y's. So maybe my domain is 1, 4, 3, 2. And my range is uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maybe that's what it is. Let's say this function g takes all of my domain, domain values and sends them all to 5. So no matter what I put into this function, I get out 5. So g of 1 is 5. g of 2 is 5. g of 3 is 5. g of 4 is also 5. Okay, this is also a function because each domain value has only one range value. So example of something that's not a function Sure, I'm still on the screen here. Let's say I had my domain is 1, 2, 3, 4 again, and my range again is 5, 6, 7, 8. Not a function might be if 1 went to 5 and to 6. Let's say 2 went to 6, 3 went to 7, 4 went to 8. This is not a function. Because one 
is paired with more than one range value. So this is not a function. Okay? Not a function. Not a function. All right. So there's a special type of function called a one-to-one -one function. And we need to write, write that in blue. Okay, and a one-to-one -one function means that every range value has one and only one domain value. So an example of a one-to-one -one function would be function f. So in function f, each one of my range values, 1, 6, 8, and 5, what did I mean this, 10? 1, 6, 8, and 10, all have only one domain value. So 8 goes back to 8, 6 goes back to 2, 1 goes back to 5, 10 goes back to 1. Function g is not 1 to 1 because 5 has 4 domain values. So this is not 1 to 1. Okay? So... A one-to-one -one function, okay, might be I'm gonna take the rest of these values out of this range because we're not using those. Okay. So one-to-one -one function, an example of this might be domain range. Might be, I don't know, a box heart circle. And the range might be um, triangle, pentagon, spiral. Okay. The box goes to the spiral, the heart goes to the triangle, and the circle goes to the pentagon. This is one to one. Every one of my range values has one domain value, and it's a function because every one of my domain values has one range value. Okay? A non a non one to one function might look like domain range A B C D E. So A goes to D, B goes to E. C also goes to D. So in this case, the range D, this range value has two domain values. So this is not one to one. All right. So pretty much in a one to one function, there must be an equal number of domain and range values. You see that on there? There must be an equal number of domain and range values for a one-to-one -one function. Mm. So what does this have to do with transformations? That's the whole point of this unit. Well, we start with what's called a mapping. Okay? And we've already talked about some mappings. Actually, each one of these diagrams is a mapping. So a mapping tells us how and where to send points from the pre-image to the image. That's what a mapping does. A mapping is a function. Let's say I had the shape 
a quadrilateral. Let me pick a different color here. Say I had the quadrilateral A, B, C. D. Right, because it's quadrilateral, I need four points. A, B, C, D. And I wanted to map this quadrilateral to an image. Okay, here's my rule. Here's my mapping rule. A will go to A prime, B will go to B prime, C will go to A prime, and D will go to A prime. So this new image might be just a line. So I'm going to take this shape, I'm going to send A to A prime, B to B prime, C to A prime, and D to A prime. And this is still a function because every part of my domain has one value in the range. So this is a mapping. Okay. Another example of a mapping, so mapping rule two. Oh, remember this is my image. I'm going to start with that same quadrilateral. But this time, my mapping rule, I'm going to take A, B, C, D, and it's going to map to A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. This mapping is a special type of mapping because it is one-to-one. -one. Put on my primes. It's not necessarily the same shape, but it's still a special type of mapping. This special type of mapping, a one-to-one -one mapping. Okay, every point in my domain or in my range has one point in my domain, is called. A transformation. And we can highlight that in blue, or you can rewrite it in blue. Okay, a one to one mapping is called a transformation. So that means in a transformation. There are the same number of points in the pre-image as the image. So you're thinking, okay, I know what a mapping is. A mapping takes every point and sends it to exactly one point in the image. A special mapping, called a transformation, takes every point in the pre-image and sends it to one and only one point in the image. But not only that, every point in the image has one and only one point in the domain. So what is not a mapping? What is not a mapping? Okay? Not a mapping is this. 
I still take my four points, my quadrilateral. Okay, this is my pre-image. And now I'm gonna send this to my image. Okay, and here's the rule. Okay, A is gonna go to A prime, B is gonna be, go to B prime, C is gonna go to C prime, D is gonna go to D prime, but D is also gonna go to E prime. Okay, and here's the problem. This is not a mapping, because D goes to two places. It goes to D prime and to E prime. So it's not a mapping if there are more points in the image than in the pre-image. So, a basic recap. A function takes one domain value to one and only one range value. We could also call that a mapping if we're using coordinate points. Okay? A special type of function called a one-to-one -one function has one range value for every domain value and one domain value for every range value. So this is an example of a one-to-one -one function. This one over here, where D has two domain values, this is not a one-to-one -one function. This special one-to-one -one function, when we're using coordinate points, is called a transformation, okay? That's when all four of our points go to one and only one point in the image, and every point in the image has come from one and only one point in the pre-image. Not a mapping, or not a function, happens when there are more points in the image than there are in the pre-image. Okay. That's long notes for tonight, but that's what we need. Thanks for watching tonight's notes, and I hope you enjoyed.